Welcome back, everybody, to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, in the last part, some things and some stuff happened. And we got a boatload of quests to do. So, see what we got. Um, actually, I want to do this uh, because I want to have access to the Room of Requirement sooner rather than later. Um, because I think you can do your crafting in there and stuff. I might be incorrect in that thinking, but that's what I think. So, let's go ahead and do that first. First things first. Get the room requirement out of the way. So if you're watching this and you enjoy my other series, I promise I will get back to them at some point. Um, probably this weekend. Typically in the evenings, I only have a couple hours to record. So I like to get at least one part of this up because it's the new hot game. And like I said before, honestly, this game is doing better on my channel than... Okay. This game is doing better on my channel than any other game in the ser in my channel's history in terms of like... Can you help me? All right now, I'm busy. In terms of watch time alone. I think I've gone up like a couple hundred watch hours since I started uploading this series, so... Really all thanks to you guys. It's much appreciated. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I have a feeling this is going to be our, like our little crafting room where we can set up those tables that we purchased and uh, start making potions and growing stuff, I believe. It is a total mess right now, but I think we this get to clean it up. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Leviosa. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, so another one of these bad boys. This one could be interesting. Y, A, X, Y. All right. Let me equip this bad boy. What is its symbol? Lumos, no. The fuck is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Um, so we'll use that in place of that. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. All right. Evanescence. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's okay. move on. Beautiful, because I've been collecting that and I had no clue what it was used for. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? 
Probably doing elf shit. What's this? Is that goodness? My old school bag. Hey, I waited. Where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expect. Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Sincerely, why? Or whatever. Alright. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay. That was bloody useless. How much? Is it going to be required? To... So to sip on some old ass tea that I don't know where it came from. I don't know. The stuff with the eyes, I don't really understand yet. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not Would you like to try again, buddy? I didn't think so. Bit offended the room. Wait, bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Oh, bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. I don't know why I read that so weird. Well, that's cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Oh, you're yeah, just fine. Damn. What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Huh. Perhaps you should hear with your wits and find out. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I wanna assume this is probably the secret area, maybe. Um Where's this? I hear it. It's over there, actually. Huh. Interesting. Incendio. Levitate it over? I don't know. I'm not in the mood for puzzles right now. I hope Especially that optional ones. Find us in there. The hell? There he is. A Dobby. Or a version of Dobby. Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. 
The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. All right, you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear. Sweet. We have that uh, piece of clothing. I guess I'll keep these paintings up for now, but I actually think you can decorate it with your own stuff eventually. Oh, tan cloak. It's worse than what I got. Ah, oh, hooey. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. So I guess you get moons. Uh. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Conjuring spell. Alright. Let's get it. A. X. Y. A. Waiting for the time when I fail one of those. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station yep. and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects okay. in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. How can we? Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting <clears throat> table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Alright. So. Might as well. I did not mean to get rid of that desk. Oops. Oh well. I'm sure we'll be able to get it back. That was a fucking mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, oh well. Okay. 
Not combat, so let's use it for A, I guess. Okay. Um, small, small. I don't know, you can't really tell what it looks like. Uh, rotate object. Try to make this uh, a little nice. Nicer. Okay. Now we just need a potting thing. We'll uh, stick with the biotanical. I think that's the right way, right? Assuming this is the front, like, I can't really tell. I can cycle through to see what the other ones look like, bro. That's pretty cool. Huh. I guess I'll stick with this one for now. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hoxmead or outside the castle grounds. We'll get this back, because... We'll uh, style it with the uh, Slytherin colors. I got anything else? No, but see, like, uh, you'll be able to hang stuff on your walls when you uh, require it, so... Dequil That's cool. To answer any questions you may have, do not underestimate his insights. Um, can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. I don't really care about Deke. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Alright. Got a small planter. Um, 10 minutes. Leaves us medicinal herb. We're using wiggle and potions that they can be purchased. Uh, let's purchase a law. Let's just go ahead and do this. Look at the one we got, anyways. That's got a 10 minute timer on it. Sort of curious to see what these, like, spider things can do. So I don't have any mongrel fur. I have to purchase other potions, it looks like. So I'm doing, I'm growing the Dittany leaves now. So I'll be able to craft more healing potions. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. See if she can teach me anything else real quick while we're here. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some I got a hundred. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Wait, what? I think I got enough. I, I have the moonstone you requested, okay, I was gonna say. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Okay. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? All right. Let's it see. It warms my heart to see your interest in herbology, dare I say, blossom. Okay, so... We got some mirrors and shit. Um, I guess we might as well do this, because why not? You anything else? So we're pretty much just going to put back the damn wall art we vanished earlier. Yeah, why not? Um... That looks kind of cool. Jesus. Can make it massive. Set the 
says. Uh, we'll go with the pretty lady, why not? Right, pretty much that's all we got. Okay. It's probably not centered. Whatever. I see it because the sun there. Alright. I'll just center it best we can. I right, do floor decorations. Right, I'll put the um Can't put that there. That's weird. A smaller one. I can change the size of it. That's better. Okay, now I can move it in there. Okay. Oh, stop floating. All right. Gotta get that nice and center. I do like the square rug look a little better. Uh, try to center that as best I can. We cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Okay. We'll be able to actually unlock some pretty cool stuff. Shall we move on? Hang on. Calm down. Hold your fucking horses. Okay. I wonder if I got more room over here to make it a little bigger. I'm just burning through Moonstone for probably no reason, but it's all right. It looks pretty good in here, I will say. It's okay. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. This is interesting. Cool. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform... Altering spell to customize it. Okay, so it pretty much just um <clears throat> Well I like that one actually better anyways. Um I should have change the Oh, we can change color. Oh we can actually do the whole right, let's do Slytherin colors. That didn't pass my thing though. It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say. Blossom. And then we can change the size of anything we want. Let's just change the size of the painting, I guess. Nicely done. 
Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can uh -huh. use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Uh, let's go with the floor, I guess. Ooh. I like that. Oh, yeah. This space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Why are you talking Deke in the third person, dude? You should be proud of Professor all. Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Yeah, moonlight would be I cool. I'd like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Oh, hell yeah. Now we're cooking, boys. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely um, <clears throat> being that I'm recording this on YouTube, I, um, I don't know, I, I do would like a bigger table here. Oh, it might be worthwhile going to purchase one from the guy at some point. If we make it back to Hogsmeade, and I remember, I'm going to craft some potions, though. That sucks you can only do like one at a time, but all right. it takes it's pretty quick. No. Oh. They cannot believe how many beasts you have here. A bunch of other shit on the wall you can make disappear. This is a collect moonstone. I don't like really care about painting so much. Clean this up a little bit. Start with like a blank slate. You know what I mean? Like if we find, uh, if we're able to require some more, acquire some more um, wall art, we might put it up. Oops. I feel kind of bad about vanishing these. The paintings seem relatively alive. I won't bore with you guys with this. I'll uh, clean all this stuff up later. I'll grab this potion. We'll move on to the next quest. So that gives us five. It should be good for now. Um. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. All right, we'll leave the room for now. We got other stuff to do. Uh, 
Um. Revelio. Says, Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for ballet. One can only imagine the impact of the arts has he been successful. Alright. See what our uh, see what else we got in the way of quests. Um, Professor Sharp's assignment. Uh Yeah. I mean, we might as well. Try to get um, do all these side quests that were a little more powerful as the um, Where the freak do I gotta go? I feel like uh Alright. Now I'm tracking it, so we're good. Alright, let's get down this staircase. Of doom. I think I. I don't know if I can light this or something. Let me put my stuff back. Just in case we were to get. Incendio. Expelling all us. I'm sure we can do something with that at some point, but now's probably not the time. Wait. Ah, uh, must be a side quest or something. We'll focus on what we got. Stay focused. I need to get sidetracked with side quests today. I probably could have fast traveled here. I don't. It's all good. We're here. Hey, bud. Over here. I'm right here. Please don't be another Sebastian. stealth quest. It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so annoyed because this is another damn stealth quest. There's a secret quest. passage just here. It's well disguised. Hang on. All right. Oh, that well disguised. I do nothing about it. I open it up. How convenient. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. There's any other uh, chesticles? Ooh, ooh, what this is. I pressed the wrong button. All right. It looked pretty uh, dapper, I gotta say. And it was better, so that's fine. I look all right. I don't think I got any spectacles. That, no. I only got the one wand handle. All right, whatever. 
Like I told you, I'm going to look as goofy as possible because I don't really care. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. All right, let's do it. It may take a while <clears throat> to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Okay. Let's do it. I don't know if these are like dark arts. I'm assuming dark arts it. or something. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find. Confringo. That... Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Hell yeah. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo. We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I thought she was dead. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Uh, whatever. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You That's can trust enough. me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. 
Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Yeah, well... When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an hour. Oopsies. Alright. Cool. I, I needed some more, um... What the hell? I needed some more powerful spells anyways. Incendio's uh gotten a little better. Hello, some Sebastian. of the upgrades. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um that room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Get a bit of an asshole. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Fuck off, bud. All right, level 12, I think we've, um, we should have some more talent points, I think. We got one. Let's see here. Dealing damage to cursed. Um, I don't, I haven't, um. Oh, so you can have different customizable wheels. I didn't even realize that was the thing. That seems useful. Alright. Oh, shoot. I need to start pe taking a peek at this. Uh, okay. Alright, whatever. Collections. Oh, uh... Okay, that's just stuff we've gotten along the way. Let's see what we've unlocked from challenges. Wait, 20 dark wizards. Okay. I have unlocked this. No, I haven't. I did unlock this, though. Alright. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay. I think that's it for now. I'm just taking a peek here what we got. Fireplace note. Dittany leaves. Plenty of those. Okay. Okay. All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. See what we got quest-wise. Um, go to the summoner's court board. Um, use the map with floating candles to find a treasure. 
like a moth to a flame, discover the painting secrets, demanding delivery, speak with Perry Pippin. That's pro- uh, I don't know. We can do whatever. Let's see what we got in the outpost. Got an unopened letter from Fig. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Professor Fig. So I should have unlocked a quest. Okay, so that's a main quest. We'll probably do this in the next part. We've been recording for 45 minutes here. I might drop two episodes tonight. I don't know yet. I might record for a little bit longer. But we shall see. I think I just read that mail, didn't I? I did. Come and see me as soon as you okay. can. Okay, I already read this. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. <laughs> okay. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> it can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Ooh. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I like her. Okay. I think there's a glitch text here. You can't Just... imagine how inconvenient. All right, I'm trying to get to a quiet place so I can sign out. Um, I do want to say again, thank you all for watching. It means a lot. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Really want to see that number continue to rise. And uh, hit that like button as well. But I will see you in the next part. Peace out.